What's up guys, Scotty here from the Blue Coconut family and welcome back to another City Skylines tutorial. Today we're going to be continuing our look at the base game components and also our continued look into water service. So today we're going to be looking at what happens when you produce too much water. Now that might sound like a stupid uh, problem, but it is, a, it is a real problem. You know, what happens if you do produce too much water? Uh, because as you can see, we've now built our new suburb here with pumping station and water tower but we also have our old city which is bringing in new water towers and is a lot and if we look at our water table we can see that our water ability uh, availability is miles up and we're actually pumping just shy of double uh, meters cubed a week uh, for what we need over what we're actually consuming so there's actually quite a lot of water going to waste within our system so there are two solutions that we have to this um, one is practical one is kind of it can be useful but it uh, also is kind of in kind of it up there it's kind of weird but so let's look at the practical solution first so this solution is in here in your water sewage and heating tab so it's next to the uh, water treatment plant and it is the water tank reservoir. Now this it came available within the um, natural disasters. Both of these solutions did, is it came available in natural disasters. So if you don't have that DLC, highly suggest go get it because it adds a ton of cool things to the game. Uh, but it also adds these to it. Uh, if you don't have it, then you won't have these options. So the tank reservoir, as you can see there, all it does is it simply um, holds water, excess water for potentially if you need it so if you're, like I mentioned in previous videos where you might potentially build a new dam and it means that your river dries up and your pipes can no longer reach for fresh water then this is where water being stored will then be used until you can fix that problem so potentially if you have a short drought this is there to help back up your city if you ever drop below um, consumption so it's very useful. Um, so it has a storage capacity of 600,000 cubic meters of water and has an operating rate of 120,000 cubic meters a week. So it's uh, pretty much on par with the standard water pumping station in terms of its uh, operating rate, um, but it obviously stores a lot more. The cost of it is 25,000 as a down payment and its upkeep is 720 a week. So it's fairly expensive, uh, but it's one of those kind of emergency things you can dip into. Um, talking of emergency, it's also very useful for if you have a natural disaster, which is when this was implemented. So I can kind of see the logic in there. It naturally has quite a high footprint because it is kind of water tanks. So you'd want to place this somewhere within like an industrial area. So I'm actually going to place mine let's have a little look somewhere where it's easily accessible but is going to be out of the way so I'm going to place mine down here in my industrial area I'm going to place two of them to hold you know a hundred what is it one million two hundred one point two one point two million cubic meters of water for my city now similar to all the other water buildings just being within a um, kind of coverage area uh, does not mean that these buildings are active, they have to be connected up with the dots to the water supply and once they're in place then they will slowly turn blue meaning that they are in use. You can click on it to see how much water is stored uh, and obviously when that's at 100 then it will balance itself out so it might use some, it might store some and they're just there for emergency. Very useful. Uh, apparently my power consumption is proving interesting not quite sure what's happening there okay let's place down something just to boost out while we finish this tutorial so moving on to our secondary output so under the same tab you would have noticed this here this is a fresh water output so this is simply the fresh water outlet lets out excess water in the system it can place uh, on dry land creating lakes and ponds water evaporates and the outlet can be turned on and off to help um, with possible flooding if the city produces less water or the same amount it consumes fresh water outlet won't let out any water so this has a drain capacity of 24,000 
uh, cubic meters. So is considerably less than pumping in water and uh, kind of your drainage systems, but it's there for any kind of excess water that is in your systems. Uh, this is simply there to be as a kind of outflow pipe, but it, like it says there, it is very useful for creating kind of those fake ponds. So where are we going to use this? Now I've always fancied having a small little river coming down here, seeing how this will look, you know, just water flowing down this mountain here. So what we're going to do is we're going to place the water outflow pipe and you can place it anywhere on land. Obviously there it's saying the water, the slope is too steep. Um, but you can place it pretty much anywhere. To rotate it, you simply hold down right click and just kind of pivot it around and it does that. So we're going to place it there, just like so. And we are then going to go and connect it up to the water grid. It does require a small amount of power, uh, but it is a minute amount. So we're just going to put up a nice wind turbine up here just to power that one little drainage. And you can see there it turns on and it starts to outflow fresh water so it is worth noting guys that this is not outputting sewage unlike uh, potential like, kind of treatment plants here this is outflowing fresh water and it is excess fresh water so it won't outflow anything that you have uh, if you're consuming the exact amount that you are producing then it won't outflow anything so you won't go under um, and similarly if you're kind of using up if you're using more than you're actually producing then this obviously won't be flowing this is simply excess uh, but it's a great way of producing small little kind of waterfalls and then this can go down into a lake now i haven't used one of these um, but um, this was a natural spring in my little kind of nature reserve which i've utilized um, but you could quite simply place one of those up here and then just control the water as it goes down and creates a small little river through my natural kind of uh, my nature park here and it comes down to this little lake here so it's a very nice way you can control that in game without using some form of like um, hacking or mods that allow you to place water sources um, in game so it's very good for that and place you in its good way of placing artificial water into game uh, something else worth pointing out is water tank usage is in this little kind of water availability, ta availability tab so you can see here that water reserved in tanks I have filled both of my tanks I've placed down a short while ago so that is there ready to be used and this is flowing out so yeah that's pretty much it I'm going to turn this off because I don't particularly want to fancy flooding my lovely little water basin you can see there the water is collecting down into the lowest point which is quite nice I suppose uh, so I could make like a little fake lake down in here uh, which would be very nice but I've turned that off for now but yeah that's it for kind of excess water and water storage uh, if this has been useful for you guys hit that like button um, but yeah uh, remember to hit the subscribe button as well you guys you know what to do I've been Scotty from the Blue Coconut Family. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.